Hello, it's John from Epsom Speakers and in this video I want to show you how to set up your voting. It's called polls in Zoom and you need to go to the website first to enable it. So here I am on the Zoom website logged into my account and I need to click on the settings tab and then you want in meeting basic in the meeting section and you'll need to scroll down just a little bit further and you will find polling. Enable that, a little green bar will pop up the top to tell you your setting been updated. You are now able to have votes in your system. So we'll close that. And you can see I've now got polls. So I click on polls, I can add a question. When you add a question, it takes you back to the website again, because that's where the information is put in. And we have a box. So we can say, um, best put a title in. Best speaker. You can create these in advance time which is useful. You see I haven't actually started the meeting yet and I'm able to add these. And they will be remembered and then you can change them. This is the advantage of using the personal account that you're always using the same account and you can change these. If you use the uh, meeting to create individual meeting codes for each meeting then you're going to have to go into the upcoming meetings to edit them but we'll keep it and I'll keep it simple s service we'll use the personal meeting thing so there's my best speaker questions I need to scroll down a bit to find the save button and save that oh I haven't put the question is I save that. Now, as I said, if I go to meetings, if you're using upcoming meetings, you'll need to go to the meeting that is upcoming to change your questions. But because I'm using the personal meeting room code, as I've suggested you do, I click on personal meeting room. And again, it's one of those scrolls to the bottom. And here is my first poll for best speaker. But what I can do is I can also add a uh, best table topic. Uh, now I can't do table topics yet because I don't know who's in table topics, but I can do evaluator. I keep getting two capital letters when I type. There we are. So who are my evaluators? My evaluators are Dave, Rich. And Julian. You can have multiple questions in these polls, but of course we don't need them. Be careful not to have the two sets of questions in the same poll, because otherwise they'll come up at the same time. So we've got two polls, best speaker, best evaluator. We'll have to do the table topics during the meeting, because we don't know who's in the table topics until it starts. So my meeting is now ready with the best speaker and best evaluator. So let's start the meeting and get going. So I could hit the join now button if I wanted. And it'll launch Zoom and it's launched my uh, polling as well. I don't want it for the moment, so I'm going to close it. My meeting is now started. I can start the video and I can wait for somebody to join. In fact, let's have somebody join and then you can see their view of what happens. So I'll start recording on my little laptop here. I'm now going to join the meeting. It's, uh, four, yeah. So I'll change that to Dell Laptop as the name. I'll hit join. There's a ding dong, it joins. I'll mute the audio, otherwise we'll get lots of echoes. So I now have my amazingly large community of two, but that's okay, that's enough for us to run the poll. So when we get to the point where the poll is needed, we just click on the polls button, and we have our questions here, so we can check our questions are right. That's how you choose which um, one we're using, but of course it chooses the first one, so that's that's okay. So that's ready for voting. 
and then what we need to do is hit launch polling. No one sees anything until you hit launch polling. Now this is giving me a score. Downside, you don't get a chance to vote. If we switch over now to the laptop, you can see that the laptop has got best speaker as the heading, it's got the question and it's got a chance to vote. So I can hit a vote and hit submit. And that's it. It now disappears from that screen. But if we go back to the desktop for the host, you can see we've now got Julie has got 100% one vote. It's got 100%. So you've got your polling. You can even end the polling and see now no one else can vote. So if they didn't vote quick enough, that's tough. It's all over. And you have the ability to share the results if you want. But uh, most people, I suppose, are going to keep it quiet until the end of the meeting. So I now know Julie is right. So I can close that. Later on in the evening, I'm going to want to do a second vote for the evaluator. So again, I need to click on polls. This time I need to find best evaluator. And again, I need to launch the polling for it to be seen. So we launch the polling, it will now appear on all the computers. I can tell them they've got 30 seconds to vote and we've got a clock here to make it easier for me let's again have a look on the laptop you can see I've got the pop-up which is, gives me a choice so I'll choose Dave this time and hit submit and it disappears off my laptop screen but we now have the votes and we now told that 100% of people have voted I can now end polling I now know who's won that one as well So that's two votes down. The third vote is a bit more tricky because we don't know who table topics are until we get to the table topics section. So you may need a bit of work with your table topics master at this point. But again, we click on polls and we need to add a new poll. So all you can do is hit edit and that'll take you back to the website and we can now have Now, if you wanted to set this up in, a, in the advance, you just have to go speaker one, speaker two. But if you're going to do it live during the meeting, you could actually put their names in. Whoops, what did I do then? Go back to edit. And save. So that is now available, so I can minimise the screen again, and I can now choose that one, Table Topics, and I can launch it. So you can do this during the meeting, but of course it does take your time up. However, if you can liaise with the Table Topics person during the break, then uh, they can do the vote. And of course down on our laptop we again have a chance to choose a speaker, so I'll choose a speaker. And we can see now that everybody has voted and we can end the polling. And that is how you do your voting. Now, next time when you start your event and you go to polls, because you put it under your personal account, those three questions will still be there. But you can just go in and edit them as required for the next event. Otherwise, that is voting. So I'll close the meeting and thank you for watching.